So if you guys can see here, my shirt says uncommon, which is kind of the topic of this video. So today I want to speak about myself a little bit. Um, so I want to speak about my introversion and my lonerness. So I, I think I'm a loner because I'm alone most of the time and I don't talk to people most of the time. So when I was when I was 17, I used to have a lot of friends. Um, I would talk to at least four people every single day or five, five people every single day. And I was through school and then I dropped out of high school. And, um, and then ever since then, I haven't found a new friend. Um, ever since then, I haven't found a new person that I could start talking with and stuff. And it's been three years since that day and yeah i haven't found a new person for three years to talk to um i do have some friends that are cool with me um they want to hang out with me and stuff but i don't want to hang out with them i think it's kind of like a task and and it kind of requires energy but if i take that energy if i go ahead and do it, I feel like I'm going to get a little bit anxious for some reason. And yeah, like every once in a while when I when I hang out with my friends again after three months or a year, by the way, it's been like a year and two months since I hanged out with my friends and we're still cool. We, they still react to, to my Facebook post on, on um, Facebook. But we don't talk, you know, we, we do talk every once in a while like, hey, uh, let's go smoke some weed and I'm like oh I don't have any and then he's like oh man all right and then my other friend that is Christian he's like he, he hasn't talked to me yet but I know he's still my friend we there's been periods of time where we haven't talked for like a year and then we just go back to normal and yeah um, I don't know I just don't like that I haven't found a single friend um, since then, I, I've been to the hospital seven seven times where you find new people. I've been tr I've been trying um, apps and stuff, but I just I just get bored. I just get bored basically, and and I know that's common. If 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 you don't if you find someone that is not like you, that is not friendly to you, then you just get bored. But I don't know. Um, I don't like it to be honest. Well, sometimes I do. Most of the time, I don't think about it. Most of the time, I just enjoy being alone. But other times, I wish I could talk because, like, what if I go on a date? Um, one time, I went, I went to meet up with this girl in the park, um, and then she kept on filling in the the quiet, the quiet, the quiet, um, the quiet spaces. Like I would say, hey, blah, 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 blah. And she would be like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then I would just be quiet. She would say something and I would just be quiet. And then she would, she would say something right away after that again. And she, she kept on doing that. Like I, like I would be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And I would just stay. <laughs> like we were both standing up, you know. And then, and then she, and then it worked out after all, but I feel like I was forcing myself to talk the whole time. It worked out. I asked her, hey, what do you want us to be after that? She, she said, I, I want you to be my boyfriend. And I was like, she was like, what do you what do you think? I was like, yes, yeah, Amir. But we didn't, uh, we didn't end up going out because of, of some family reasons. But yeah, um, she ended up, I think, um, I don't know, she would just start talking. Um, anyways, yeah, like, the thing that I don't like is that I have to force myself to talk, even when I like a person, like, physically, you know? Like, if I like a girl, I have to force myself to talk. I don't know if that happens to you guys, I don't, I don't go to many dates, but if that happens to you guys where you go to a date and then you have to force yourself to talk, like you have you don't you have no words to say. 
like oh like I got this brand new brand new Toyota it's it's from 2018 what do you think like is that a good car and then you're like uh yeah that's a good car I think then you just become become quiet or for example um my dad got a new Tesla my dad got a new Tesla you're like oh okay you have nothing to say you know and that's the only thing that I don't like um that in the future when I when I go on a date, like I just have to force myself to talk. Also went in the hospital one time, this last hospitalization that I was at, and um I was like talking to this girl, right? And then and then like she was like we were talking, um she was inside her room, I was outside her door, and we were talking through the door because she said that she had she probably could have COVID or something like that. And we we're just talking, it was like a, like a five minute conversation. Um, we, and I just kept on forcing myself. I was like, she was like, she was like, yeah, um, I think I have COVID, I don't know. And I'm like, like, what type of symptoms do you have? And it's just like, the air feels kind of dry and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, okay. She told me, she told me some other stuff. She was like, the air is kind of dry and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I just got quiet for a second and then she was like, you're cool. I'm like, I'm like, what? She's like, you're cool. I was like, oh, thank you. I wanted to say you're cool too, but, but I don't know. That might be a little bit too pushy, you know, but to me, you know, but yeah. I didn't call that girl because I don't want her as my girlfriend. I just wanted her to fornicate and I don't do that. So yeah, like I just don't like forcing myself to talk. I'm okay with me not having friends, but forcing myself to talk is it's not cool. Because one day, there's, there's some other, other examples, like even talking to a new person that I met at, at work, I'm like, I just keep adding up things like the common people would say like, yeah, the weather's really, yeah, the weather's really bad. Yeah, I heard it's gonna get better though. Yeah, hopefully. I think I think Trump since said that the weather forecast is gonna get better, that it's gonna be more accurate. And I'm like, I don't even. I'm just I'm just like running out of breath, I'm running out of energy, and I can feel it in my throat. And you're like, yeah, the weather's over there, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and um. Yeah, but the thing that I don't like um, is that I haven't found friends in the last three years, any new friends, just I've had the, the, the same old friends as before. And I'm, I'm a little bit scared to meet some of them. I think that's because of my social anxiety. And yeah, um, I mean, I've been to the hospital seven times. I use apps for for talking to people, I worked in many other places, and I still haven't found a single friend. I, I blame it on the devil because the devil took everything, all my friends, most of my friends away from me because once I might embarrass myself on Facebook because I was delusional, I will post 12 posts every five minutes about, about the devil, about Satan, about if this, if that, I'm great, I'm crazy, I'm sad, I'm, I'm this. Captain America to have fortune telling like all oh, this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. So I scared everybody off and then I didn't talk to nobody for like a year because a year and a half because I was too scared and too embarrassed, you know. I don't know, everybody forgot about it now. Um, but I think Satan just, God just hasn't put me with the right person to meet, you know. I think God can do that, put you with the right person that where you can be friends and stuff. And he can take that away as well. But yeah, uh, that's my video on my in introverted loneliness. See you guys later. Peace out.